when your energy made contact with the earth, it did it in seven songs on one album. This earth is one big vinyl record player, and each one of us is a vinyl record, and it's playing all of our songs at the same time, and it's making one big song together out of all of them. Look at what our universe is, according to science, not me. I'm going to show you what science say. Let's pull up, and you watching it with me now. Let's pull up uh, Big Bang. Big Bang Explosion. And as you notice, we get this vinyl record system. And see, this pole that you see is the fucking pole that's going to play the record. You see that pole? That's what's turning the heavens, playing the music. There's a pole in the middle of this thing. The Hindu call it Mountain Maru. You see it? This little pole is what's allowing the vinyl record to be spun and played. You are energy in motion. Your energy landed around this pole and you became a serpent wrapped around a pole, a tree, Buddha. And when your energy started spiraling around its axis, your movie started to play, your song came on in the hospital. Everybody did the same thing to make it into this soloring system. It's like a vinyl record. And the spinning is taking place at the middle here. Now, when your record is done, they pull you up off the player. But it's still other songs still being turned when you gone. That record goes in a box somewhere uh, or maybe to some another. This record leaves one vinyl player and it go to somebody else's house to be played. And it makes its way around. But it, when it's done, it's going to lead its player. The player is the universe. All of us are sharing this one pole, but we're our own recording, Akashic Records. You're your own frequential bands of energy resonance responding to this place. Now, we all come here to be played, tricked. Yeah, man, you got played, you got tricked, but you want it to. Just like every doggone vinyl record wants its turn to be spun around. Imagine if you had a, a crate full of vinyl records and they started talking to each other. And all of the other vinyl records are picking on this one vinyl record because it never been played before. You know what they would tell it? Because your music suck. He ain't never picked you up and played you. Because every ring on you suck. All of them songs on you suck. You feel me? So that record would feel left out like, yeah, why don't I get spun around? And he get his chance. Everybody, everybody got to be born. Every, every vinyl record going to get his chance to be heard. And this music is alive. If, 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 and the one that's spinning a record is your higher self exploring the, what its lower self is like. And it does that by casting it down onto the player and listening to it. And if you don't like what you're hearing, you got some work to do. You will, you will find yourself, keep playing yourself till you like what you hear. Sound is the foundation of life, so no luminescence. Sound becoming light because the physical world is holographic and nature is light based. And it's spoken, everything around us is sound manifesting into light, right? Light being the foundational state of all matter because, again, we're in a holographic simulation. Then, if sound is the thing that programs the world around us, 
then the best weapon you can have is a microphone in your hand. The original concept of this Jedi rod, the spinal cord is a microphone for the soul. Look at this, 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 the human body and think about a microphone. Look at the human body and think about a microphone. See, for the soul to manipulate the ether, it has to go into a body. Because if this thing is about sound, then the body allows the soul to amplify itself, just like a microphone allows an MC to be heard all over the nation. So the body allows the soul to, to express itself on each dimensional plane. It don't got to just be in heaven. That's just like me talking without a microphone. Only the people in my house can hear me. But when you give me that mic, everybody in my block can hear me. I can express myself further. So when the soul wanted to express itself further and be heard in this whole sonoluminescent uh, reality, it made for itself a microphone. And the soul can't go nowhere without his mic, just like an MC that you see with his mic all the time or the Pharaoh with his unk. Because the, the Pharaoh represent the God body and the unk represent the earthly body. Him holding the unk is how the soul is housing the body. And if the body is a microphone, an amplification tool for the soul to be felt, inside of the simulation look at the mic and look at the shape of the human body sacred geometry is always important the human body is literally a microphone for the soul and guess where the soul speak inside the microphone at in the head part right in the dome guess where the soul is speaking its will into the body at right here in the top right here, like, like a, just like with a microphone, man. Same thing as a microphone, okay? So the brain and the head, the black hair right here, this is like the black squishy part of my microphone. I got a gray top today. That's like when my hair get old and I get gray-headed. Now I got a gray-headed mic top. <laughs> but yeah, your hair is like the same, like, microphone texture of your microphone and your head is literally your whole body is literally like a microphone for the soul it, i'm talking about to the t the shape of it the way that you got the black part at the top making a dome that's the hair and listen the soul literally speaks and ha and, and to be felt and heard in this world through the body and it does it through the top part just like a microphone y'all and the body shape. Just, I just love this syncretism. I just love it. Check that out. Check that out. So you got to look at, the more you go to looking at this thing like this, if the body is a microphone, then guess what? The soul is singing a song through that mic called life. And here is the system that nature made right here. It's like a vinyl record, and each ring is a song. You're on each, so like, you know, think of it this way. If Brother Sanchez make a music album, just think of my shit on a vinyl record. And from the middle ring to the outer ring, guess what? I'm on every song because it's my record. On this vinyl record, with the rings coming from the middle to the outer, I'm on every song, starting with the intro all the way to the outro. That's what I'm telling you how this world is built. It's a big vinyl record, and you own every song. This is what you're going to take with you, your life file, which is simply song vibration energy. This is what you would take with you. This is what the Pharaoh take. Life is a song that was sung by the soul. But guess what, though? Let me explain something to y'all real quick. If the body is a microphone and the soul is an MC 
and your life is a song, guess what? I got to record it in the booth. And guess what? The engineer ain't going to let me get out of that booth until I get my song recorded. He going to say, do it over. And you're going to be sweating in that little black cube. You see where I'm going? The earth is a recording booth for the soul. If the soul don't record the song right, it'll be in that hot ass booth forever. I'm a rap artist. And it can feel like hell in that black cube that you call a little studio booth, son. <laughs> and they will trap you in hell till you get that song right, till you sing it right. And the hotter it get, the better you get at singing that shit, too. <laughs> the hotter it get in that booth, the more you get that shit right. You know, you hear to drop a song, and you got to get the notes right. If you get this song right, you will release your energy in this place the way that you, you're, you, you're like a pill. And you got to open up the pill to get the medicine out because the earth need to be healed. And that's why they don't want none of us humans opening up our hearts and opening up our minds. Because the energy that will come out will heal the earth and they trying to keep this earth disease. The earth is a conscious being. We're the medicine that it ate up and brought inside of itself to heal itself. If you don't release the contents, you're a pill. You're a whole pill capsule. If you don't release yourself and 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 open up your mind, your body, your soul, and let your energy express itself in this place, you'll come back to do it again. You come back to do it again. Your body is an antenna, and just like everybody's car got an antenna on it, that antenna is there to receive a signal from the radio station. So the, the signal, the original signal, is coming from Eden. That's the that's the that's the uh, radio that's the station, and then that's from the station a signal is sent to the body. Now look, uh, the, the the when we listening to the radio in our car, let's say your favorite station is ninety seven point five. Just cause ninety seven point five is in your car, don't make your car ninety seven point five. That means your car is a receiver of a signal that's coming from this location called 97.5 radio station. And this radio station may exist in a whole nother state, a whole nother location, who knows? But guess what? It exists in your car now and it transcends time and space by being ever project itself through the ether as a radio wave. And our body and soul is using that same technology. So we can be anywhere and everywhere at the same time, which is why God said I am omniscient, which is the same way I can broadcast my song into everybody radio around the world at the same time from my radio station. And that means God can be everywhere. Because think about it, right? Everybody, your radio station is running a program. And okay. that's what your body is doing. See, just like a radio station, when the radio station run the program, that's going to dictate my action. Because if the radio station play a slow song, I'm going to move my body to the slow music. If the radio station play some fast drill shit on the next song, I'm going to get crunk with it. So the radio station is like a puppet with streams, this signal is controlling my body. Likewise, your mind is a signal that is being broadcasting from Eden. And your mm. body, your body, just like your car can receive that radio station and hear that song that's being broadcasted from the station, your body is, is, is being told what to do by a signal that's coming from the mind. And, and, and if your body not being told what to do by that signal, it's like me and you being in my car plasma and we trying to listen to our favorite song. You know, we trying to bump that Kendrick, Kendrick, they not like us, right? But we rolling through and we getting another song bleeding over that. I hate when that happened on the radio, when you hearing two songs at once and some yeah, interfering, yeah. bleeding over on my signal. That's what the Illuminati 
body doing? They don't want us to dance to the rhythm of our true core energy that's coming from the pole because then we will be making the right actions with that signal that's being broadcasted. That's our savior. That's our divine intervention. The, that's the voice within. They cancel that out by by putting the, the static over that. You know, like, I'm listening to Luther Vandross and all of a sudden Drake is coming in the background. I can hear two songs. And because mm. of that, I can't hear neither one of them clearly. So I don't know what kind of dance to do. I don't know how to move my body. And that's what's going on with the people. They hearing all these signals as an overload and it just make them go in circles. It's like a computer crash. Your indoctrination is the layering song that they put over the true song. So think about my radio in the car, right? I got my station on 97.5. Why the hell am I hearing 95.4 in the background? Because these two stations are so close together that they bleed into some time. And I'm saying that our world came in proximity to the Archon's world or whatever this enemy is. And it's now a war of who can be the loudest. Which is why I said, which is why I said, if you know the truth, it don't do you no good to whisper it. You need to scream it. Because this is an audible war about sound and vibration. And if they're screaming the lie louder than you screaming the truth, the world going to go with the lie. See, what we think is that long as we got the truth, that's all we need. That ain't enough, dog. It's a war between the truth and a lot of good and the evil. And it's sound vibration, meaning who's the most loudest. We got to make noise. Nigga, shatter video. Lift your voice. Because the people that's telling a lie, they screaming that shit, and we whispering the truth, and we want to know why people ain't waking up. The spiritual war is who's making the most noise. Tesla told you that. It's about sound and vibration.